Good day, everyone. We were recently invited down to Palmerston North for a drone demo day with a lot of local agencies. Um, we were there at the invitation of Paul Chafe. Paul is a coordinator for civil defence in the region, and he also works for fire service and even sometimes helps out police as well. This alongside his role with the council there. On the day itself, we showcased the Mavic 2 Enterprise, DJI's latest offering. It's got interchangeable accessories such as the spotlights, the speaker, the beacon, and there are two options, one with a zoom camera and one with a thermal camera as well. It was a fantastic opportunity to pre present the drone to a whole variety of people and show off the innovation that DJI has been pushing through of late. Here's some video. My name is Stuart Davies, I'm the Emergency Manager for Palmsdale City Council. I'm here today looking at this demonstration and, and its application and um, for the particular focus around um, getting uh, intelligence and information around emergency events and the, the live streaming of that into our um, new emergency operations centre which we're going to occupy in um, October of, of this year. Uh, for any uh, myriad of emergency events, I can see its application, whether it's um, doing a rapid assessment on, on an area in terms of perhaps damage in an earthquake type scenario, uh, looking at streets uh, and flooding and, and getting all that intelligence and uh, relaying that back where some uh, decisions and, and priorities can be given. That intelligence would be shared in terms of informing people what, uh, to say for instance a street's flooded we can uh, display that through uh, an online uh, streaming YouTube type of application and invite people to look at it. It might be put on our Facebook page and uh, so people actually know what's going on. And that'll avoid a lot of perhaps phone calls into council and save some uh, work there. The use the, in the, the, the balance around the cost, I think it's a, a lot of um, a lot of a very good tool for a, a fair amount of money. So you know, I'm very impressed with the uh, demonstration today and the knowledge sitting behind it and um, certainly be investigating further in terms of uh, purchasing some of this equipment. Yeah. My name is Blair Rogers, we're from Master Business Systems. We are in, uh, in an IT alliance with Tower District Council. We use DJI drones to um, do business as usual tasks uh, for the council um, and we have a range of DJI products that we use um, to fulfil those needs. Um, for the Mavic, uh, obviously it's quick deployment, um, the form factor of it I think is really useful, um, nice and easy to uh, transport around. We do have larger uh, devices that we use, um, uh, like Matrice and Spire type size and even the Phantom 4 Pro, um, but um, yeah, the, they take, take a little bit longer to set up, some more than others, whereas the um, Mavic we can just hold out, and so that's an idea where we can quickly deploy, have it in the compartment of the vehicles in the council. Okay, so currently the council benefits um, and the ratepayers because we can use the equipment to uh, quickly uh, do jobs, mm -hmm. uh, investigate uh, road uh, issues a lot quicker and a lot safer for our staff. Um, we can pull a drone up or down a, a road face mm -hmm. um, if there's an under drop or, um, or cliff faces. Uh, so that in itself saves a lot of time. We can acquire information, we process that data with uh, Pixel E software, and we can use that within our GIS systems and share that information to internally, but to the public, and also to our uh, outside consultants for maybe roading engineering purposes. Um, but we also use it for cemeteries, um, we use it for parks, a whole range of uses where we can use it to acquire some new aerial imagery for places that we may not have had before, yeah. at that level of detail that we want now.
basically an investigation for compliance. We had ground personnel surveying the edges of these dump sites and one of them had been a burn site as well. So at the burn site, we took put the drone up and even though the fire was over a month old, we found hot spots within the burn site. So for health and safety, we could point out to them where they were and they could avoid going onto those. Uh, and also just the videography and the photography side of things as well. So that's where we've used that one at the moment. But we were quite impressed, you know, a month old burn site and we were picking up hot spots. Well, thanks for watching. We hope you enjoyed that. If you'd like to get in touch with, uh, to find out more details about the Mavic 2 Enterprise or the Mavic 2 Enterprise Jewel, please give us a call. Phone number is on the screen just here or email info at ferntech.co.nz. Cheers.